So tell me what FX LLC is all about. Well, Jim, uh, about two years ago, I'll try to make this a good short story. Um, uh, the industry led by Matt Saccaro and HAI, International Helicopter Safety Team, it really was focusing in at the accident rate with helicopters associated with uh, uh, inadvertent IMC. So they brought in a few of uh, the industry folks that uh, they thought would have some opinions on it. They brought Chuck Aaron in. Of course, Chuck Aaron retired from Red Bull after 10 years of doing aerobatics, so he must have did something right. And then myself as the Sikorsky research development pilot, for 23 years, I'm still here to talk about things and mitigating risks. So we were challenged with looking at about 2,000 accidents in our free time. and. We came up with a trend of three items and we were really surprised uh, with what we found that either how you look at the PTS standards and how we're trained and then the requirements for currency really were not preparing folks all around the industry, not just in one particular area, for the things that happen in the other aircraft, whether it's degraded personal, meaning you're overwhelmed with what's happening and you get vertigo, degraded aircraft or degraded systems. So we put together a little syllabus and over the last uh, year and a half did some beta testing just to see if there is something different we can do when it comes to training. And even though the focus of the school is helicopter upset recognition uh, recovery training, there's more to it. That's just a small portion of this three-day course we put together. Uh, it's basic attitude instrument flying and how it relates to the helicopter handbook, that aerodynamic stuff that everybody doesn't want to talk about. So we're not making you an engineering test pilot, but we're bringing to light how those aerodynamic aspects of the helicopter affect the way you fly it, related to the PTS, and then related to scenarios that you get into with the aircraft that can affect your decision making. I know that sounds like a lot, but uh, when you talk about the folks that we put through the course, uh, anywhere from 10,000 to 15,000 hours senior helicopter pilots, at the end of the three days, they've all been humbled with the fact they've learned something and we like to say it's a self-assessment on yourself we're not giving you a pass or fail and then there's the upset recovery aspects how those aerodynamics relate to how you should recover an aircraft if you potentially lose control of it IMC and then there's the aspects of uh, emergency letdowns or controlled letdowns you can't get to point B you can't get to your alternate or you went in inadvertent IMC how to commit how to make the right decisions whether you're within terrain or you're up and away. So again, a lot, but in three days it's pretty intense. And uh, just alone with the beta testers we put through and the surveys, we figured we're on to something here. And then with the insurance underwriters uh, promoting the school, with potentially giving 10% off their insurance premiums to operators attending such a school. Okay, so I'm an R44 operator. Uh, I've scared myself once or twice, or if I've flown more than two hours, probably five or six times. I show up and I'm looking for a way to survive this industry. What happens in those three days? Well, we walk you through the PTS standards that we're all used to. We talk about maneuvering stability, dynamic stability. We let the aircraft depart controlled flight. We let it gain control by itself and uh, walk them through all those basics again and then put them in the actual environment. I mean, Chuck and I thought about, all right, we'll simulator base this and then we'll go out in the aircraft. And we found, you know, the simulator or the currency requirements under foggles or doing six approaches. When you're not in the environment, you know, with the stress levels up, you're not really flying the aircraft that, the way you should. So we took the simulator aspect out of the course and now everything is done in the B-105. And you're probably saying, well, why the B-105? Well, B-105, the redundancy in systems, the engines. So if something happens in that aspect, there's safety. And then the rigid rotor really brings to light those characteristics of a helicopter that are bad handling qualities, but yet the performance and control power of the B-105 really allows us to do things that we couldn't do in other aircraft. So you're typically flying in this limit, your limits go here. We're gonna bring the limits out here, and then when you leave the course, your limits are not back to where they used to be. They're a little further, and you have a little bit more confidence in flying your aircraft in the standard conditions we're in, or in the conditions that have been causing some of these accidents, you'll think a little bit better. 
and then there's the specialty courses after we go through the initial, there's refresher, and then there's orientation, and then customers would like us to do actually the training in their aircraft with them. So there's that offer too. I appreciate your time. Uh, certainly fascinating. I wish you the best of luck. And more important, how does somebody find out and get more information on your program? fx-llc.com. You go ahead and go to that website, and the phone numbers are there. And feel free to call Chuck or myself, and we'll be glad to talk to you about anything. And you don't even have to come talk to the, uh, take the course. We're glad to talk to you about aviation anytime, anywhere. Aero TV is brought to you by... Have you ever wanted big glass in your cockpit but didn't have the space? Now with Avidyne's IFD series, touchscreen GPS navigators, and our new IFD 100 iPad app, having big glass in your cockpit is finally within reach. Free Flight Systems is expanding its business into the Part 25 aviation industry through new avionics shop dealers, manufacturer partnerships, and STC programs. With a focus on the next-gen airspace and remote-mounted sensor systems, Free Flight Systems will continue to be a leader in the next-gen airspace. Visit freeflightsystems.com for details.